It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Right now on the 10 o'clock news. An NYPD detective caught in the crossfire. He was wounded while on patrol in a police cruiser in Brooklyn when a gunfight broke out in broad daylight in this. We cannot allow New York to become the wild, wild west. That is unacceptable. Mayor Adams blasting the Supreme Court ruling, allowing more people to legally carry firearms in public calling it a severe blow to public safety in the city. Good evening, I'm Steve Lacey. And I'm Teresa Priolo, and for Lori Stokes, it is a busy news night. We're gonna start with that Supreme Court decision that overturns a gun law in the state that's been on the books in New York for more than 100 years. It required people to show a special need to acquire a license to carry a concealed weapon. But in the 6-3 ruling, the court found the law violated constitutional Second Amendment rights. Governor Hochul announcing a special session of the legislature to weigh new laws that will focus on restricting guns in sensitive locations. President Biden called the high court's decision, quote, deeply disturbing, and he added it contradicts both common sense and the Constitution. All right, we have team coverage tonight. Stephanie Bertini will tell us what's next, but first here's Jessica Formoso with more on the ruling and how we got here. Jessica. Good evening, Steve and Teresa. Strong reaction from our leaders here in New York who are now looking into every possible way to keep New Yorkers safe. This ruling comes at a time when our city is seeing a surge in violence. In a six to thousand, let's heat it up for the weekend. We're going for 90 on Saturday, 88 on Sunday. Rain returns on Monday, and next week looks good with highs back into the 80s by Wednesday. Stephen, Teresa? Warm, warm. All right, thanks, Audrey. That does it for us tonight. Good day, New York. Sam, latest headlines starting at 4.30 tomorrow morning. And stay tuned. The Big Bang Theory will start right now. Have a great Bye -bye. night.